Hi, I'm your host, Cookie Masterson, and in case there's an accident during this game, my blood type is O negative. Okay, a four-player game making me the fifth wheel. Thanks for making me feel awkward. And anybody watching can join the audience anytime. You can vote on decoy answers to trip up the players, and you get to take a shot at guessing the truth. Let's go! This is round one, where you'll get 500 points for fooling the other players with your lies. And you'll score 1,000 for finding the truth. Time to pick a category. First question. Think you're a real fashionista? You'll never beat socialite Kate Fearing Strong, who attended an 1883 New York ball in a dress made out of blank. Now use your device to enter a lie that might deceive other players into picking it. If you're stuck, for half the points, you can hit the lie for me button and get a suggestion. Get to it! Okay, those are the choices. Touch the truth on your device now. Let's see how things shook out. Oh, they took the bait on that one. Well, there it is. Proving the scariest combination of traits is really rich and really bored. Okay, pick a category. so you can't be bothered. Try this one. In May 2017, a hiker in Arizona's Catalina Mountains stopped an aggressive mountain lion from attacking by simply blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Let's see what everybody selected. Mountain lions can be scared off by making eye contact, kind of like me on a date. Give me a category. Here it is. In 2015, an endangered monkey at Bristol Zoo Gardens in Britain met with a tragic end when it was accidentally eaten by blank. All right, type in your lies.
Use the life. Okay, seek the truth. And what did people pick? <laughs> that was a complete miss. The monkey fell into their pond and they went to town. Oh, but I just can't stay mad at otters. On to round two, where all point values are doubled. Select the category. Okay, here's the question. At the 60th annual International Toy Fair in Nuremberg, Mattel presented an odd variant of a classic toy, the special edition Blank Barbie. Write your lies now. All right, find the truth. Okay, let's take a look. Here's something you might be interested in. The only higher honor than being Chancellor of Germany is being a Chancellor of Germany Barbie. Category. Now listen up. In the mid-1980s, the NYPD dispatched a special undercover cop to local bars to protect people from blank. And to your lies now. Write something quick or use the lie for me button. All right, where's the truth?
All right, let's see what everybody picked. He was over 500 pounds and had a reputation for accidentally falling on people when he got tipsy. Here's something you gotta see. It's time to look at this. You're looking at a patent published in 1994 by Albert Cohen, proud inventor of the blank apparatus. Okay, enter your lies. Hit the live for me button if you can't think of something. Okay, here are your choices. Okay, what did everyone pick? <laughs> After he invented it, he had to use it on himself. It's time for the final fibbage. One last question and it's worth triple. Good luck. President Ulysses S. Grant was arrested while in office. His crime? He was caught blank in blank. Write your lies now. Okay, which one is the truth? Alright, let's see what you guys picked.
me As I try to figure out what to write I answer carefully Silly me Fibbage three Fibbage three Welcome to Fibbage, I'm Cookie Masterson. If you enjoy the game, please select the smiley face button on your email receipt. A game of three, huh? I mean, it's not as bad as two, but you know, never hurts to meet new people. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience at any time. The audience votes on fake answers to fool those gullible players, and they also get to guess the truth. Let's hit it. This is round one, which means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll get a cool thousand for finding the truth. Okay, pick a category. Alright, question one. In 2015, Thailand warned citizens that they are violating the Computer Crimes Act if they take selfies containing blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, look for the truth and pick it. All right, who picked what? People always talk about side boob, but never under boob, the often overlooked boob. Give me a category. And time's up. Let's see what we got. Lal Bihari from Uttar Pradesh, India is both the founder and a member of the unusual association of blank. Answer your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. I love this part. It's a group for people who were wrongfully declared dead by the government.
Time to pick a category. Here's the question. Sure, Pornhub gets some weird searches on their site, but things got especially weird in May 2017 when it got 2.5 million searches for blank. All right, type in your lies. Okay, which one's the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? My sincere hope is that by the time you're playing this game, no one remembers what these were. Now for round two, where the stakes are doubled. Hey, it's Celebrity Social Media time! Celebrity Social Media! Celebrity Tweet. In September of 2012, Chris Jenner tweeted, I feel like there's a giant blank inside of me. Write your lies now. Okay, where's the truth? And what did people pick? <laughs> We've all been there. Select the category. Okay, here's your question. South Korean contraceptive companies saw a rise in their stock shares in February of 2015 after the government lifted a 62-year-old ban on blank. Okay, enter your lies. Pick the truth. Let's see how things shook out. <laughs> Nobody thought of this. And what a rise it was! <laughs> Penis. Give me a 
category. Let's see how this strikes you. Baird Holmes and Henry Cotton had an unusual method for treating schizophrenia in their patients, getting rid of their blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, find the truth. Okay, let's take a look. Would you believe... Did it work? If by work you mean killed a lot of patients, then yes it did. This is the final fibbage. One question left for triple the points. Good luck. Photographer Chuck Poulin captured an incredible photo in 1987 during an event at the Boys Club of America. He documented blank meeting blank. Enter your lies now. Okay, here you go, find the truth. Let's see what everybody selected. Don't worry, RoboCop Scanner labeled the former president, not a crook.
only three of you. That's not a lot of players for this game. Hello. Well, look who it is. It's my good buddy, Gene. He's in a level two improv class, so you know he's going to be funny. Hey, Gene, don't forget you can join the audience at any time. If enough people do it, maybe we can break the internet. Get on your boards, because we're about to surf the net. <laughs> Hello, I'm Todd. Welcome to the interwebs. Yeah, I call the internet the interwebs because I have a cute and adorable personality. In case you need some instructions, check out this quick tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Party Boy 7 here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. So in each round, you'll get a prompt on your device. Go ahead and answer it. Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to what headline? Oh, I got it. Everybody then votes on whose comment looks the most absurd. I get rewarded for writing the twist, and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. The person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please. I feel so empty inside. Let's start things off at a... Social media site. So, you should be seeing a prompt on your controller. There are no wrong answers, so just answer honestly. You're getting another player's answer on your device. Take these words out of context in the most ridiculous way you can. Well, here goes nothing. Who looks the most ridiculous here? Place your vote now. Let's see how everybody voted. Here's who twisted your words. Some points for them. And you, the victim, get some pity points. Wow, you guys are really giving it to old Gene. Who should I be the most proud of? Let's find out.
Great. Now let's go to a crowdfunding site. You're getting another prompt. Go ahead and be candid. This is our safe space. I hope this inspires you. Take this quote out of context so it makes its author look ridiculous. I've got a bad feeling about this. Vote for the comment you think looks the most absurd. Here's what people think. Look at this half-wit. Okay, let's see what that round does. Hey, I have an idea. Let's go to a social networking site. It's time to answer another prompt. I'd like you to really listen to your heart this time. Alright, you know the drill. We go again. Do your civic duty and vote now. Okay, 
Okay, here are the verdicts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's check the scoreboard. We only have time for one more, so let's end it at a photo sharing site. The points are worth double this round, so try not to screw this up. Okay, I hope you have one last opinion in you. It's the last round, so don't hold anything back. Oh boy, I can hardly contain my excitement. It's voting time. Let's see who got the votes. Holy mackerel! <laughs> Buddy, it all comes down to this. Congrats! I always knew it'd be you.